Hey folks, welcome back to the video. I know I haven't uh, I haven't been uploading for a long time. Uh, that's because I had my engineering exams in which I was caught up. And uh, yeah, I'm free and uh, I'm back with YouTube. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the new update in Google App Sheet. So previously or in the other videos that I had created on Google App Sheet, whether it be an inventory app or the trainings that I had been giving. Uh, in that I used to use Google Sheet as a data source for my app but with the new update in Google App Sheet uh, I don't think I'm going to be using any third party or a cloud based database or SQL or Salesforce database anymore. Google App Sheet has introduced its new first party native data source for organizing and managing and powering App Sheet apps. So the App Sheet database provides an easy and efficient way to build the data models for any app sheet app without needing to use any external data source such as a cloud-based spreadsheet like google sheets and stuff or even proper databases like sql and stuff like that uh, that's when i thought what would be the benefits of it so benefits of using the built-in app sheet database include performance improvement for both the app creator and the user compared to the other Google Sheets and stuff like that. And it's very simple and easy to use and it, and it directly integrates with AppSheet. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the AppSheet database and I'll be doing that using uh, the example of an expense tracking app. If you want to look at the expense tracking app video I had created using a Google Sheet, you can check out that link. It's in the description. I have leaving the YouTube link and the blog link in the description, you can check that out. So now I'm just gonna go here to see create your first database it is already there here but if you want to access it i'm just going to go to appsheet.com and uh, you can see your apps if you've created any other apps you can see them here and here you see the new feature that is appsheet databases so if i click on databases this is what in a few seconds it will load up here you can see this is the appsheet database that will come up i haven't created any appsheet databases yet so let's just check it out. So normally if I had to create an app, I would go, I would create a new Google sheet. I would put in all the data here. I would create two, two different sheets and then I would link, I'd go to my extensions app sheet and then I'd create an app. But I don't think I would do that anymore. I can just directly create my own database inside my app and I can do it. So let's just go and check it out and see how it works. So let's just click on new database, which will take me to the app sheet database thing and in a few seconds the database will load up it is exactly like in google sheet but it is has a higher performance it is more faster and it is easier to integrate with my app so let's just go here and uh, this is just the normal data so i'm just going to clear this out it's going to say clear 16 values i'm just going to click on yes so here you can see this is the label so uh title let's just look at it so i just want to take this data from here and put it into this data so i'm just going to copy these things here i'm going to paste it out here okay it wants me to allow okay i allow it this is here then um, i want to change what is the name of this timestamp so i want to change this to timestamps click on save and if I have to change the type of this so it's a date time right so i'm going to change it to I scroll down i'm going to go to date time i'm going to click on this you can see date time duration or time it's going to be a date time thing i'm going to click on save it's going to click on save here so this is a date time one and okay no no changes discard and uh, next it's going to be the user's email address so i'm going to change the status here i'm going to do this to user email address and a drop down instead of a drop down, I want it to be an email. And uh, I'm going to click on save here. And see, oh, it, it cannot be a drop down, that has to be an email. I'm going to click on save. Even the app sheet database has a drop down function. We'll be looking at that in detail in the, in the later part of this video. First, we're going to be creating the entire app, then we're going to be looking at individual features in app sheet database. So, after creating the user email address, I'm going to do the categories. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to change this to say, or I'm going to do the categories thing in a different way, which I'll be showing you a little later. Uh, I'm going to just going to do the name of the expenditure, copy it, and change this, it's going to be name, I'm going to click on save. And um, do I need another column? Do I need it? Uh, yes, I need an extra column. I'm going to add a column here, I'm going to write it as amount 
oops amount spent and for this one it's going to be a number i'm going to click on save and we are done i'm going to just click create an extra or i'm going to do that later so now we have created our first thing i'm just going to change this name to say expenses and you can you can even add a table description you can add the time zone there are so many amazing features that this has so i'm just going to disk this table contains all the expenses expenses made by the user i'm just going to go ahead and click on save and uh, i'm going to go ahead since in this one we have two sheets i'm going to be adding another one i'm going to go here and to add another table you have to click on add table i'm going to click on create new table and a few seconds will create one then i'm going to go ahead and rename this i'm going to say this table contains the categories under which users can make expenses and i'm going to go ahead and click on save and under this i'm just going to change this to categories click on save and i'm going to go here i'm going to copy all of the categories that i have here it's so going to go ahead and paste it here it's going to be saving it here and uh, now if i go back to this here you can see if i go back to my spending one you can see i have the categories right i don't even need to write them there's there's a feature in this called re table referencing where i'm going to just change this to categories and if i go here and click on the type i can just go down to referencing here and i'm going to click on reference and inside referencing, I'm going to be specifying the table that has to be taken as a reference. I'm going to click on categories and I'm going to click on save. And now I can just click here and I can select the category under which the expense has to be made inside the Google Sheet. So I'm just going to put on all the timestamps here. Okay, it did not match the target column. So I'll have to just do those changes here. Right, so here I added the timestamps. I think it was a little of a hassle. So I'm just gonna be adding my email addresses here. Just gonna add one here. Then I'm gonna do another one. And I'm just going to just copy these two for now here, right? And then I'm going to be adding the name of the expenditure. That's just this. This is the name of the expenditure. So I'm going to paste it out here. And then I'm going to be getting the amount. So the process of creating the databases in AppSheet integrated one is also similar to a Google Sheet. You will have your data somewhere you or you will create new data. Either you do it in your Google Sheet, which will take more space and time and stuff or you can directly create it inside the AppSheet database feature that is available. Now, let's come to the most interesting part that I found while exploring the, the integrated AppSheet database. So, here if I go and I click on the this, if it is paid insurance for April, I'll just go down, I can click on insurance. So, this is the feature that I found which was very interesting and I can click on travel. If it is weekend grocery shopping, I can just click on the groceries option and um, if this is a weekend trip to marine drive i can just say travel so this is how i can select my uh, categories using the referencing instead of me typing it down here manually if i have data present in another sheet or another table in this case i can just use referencing and automatically get it i'm just going to name this to expense app underscore app sheet database that's a long name I'll be leaving the links of the app and the original announcement of the Google App Sheet databases thing in the description if you want to check it out. And uh, yeah, we'll just move ahead. And um, now it's time for the real action to take place. Now I want to say create the app. How do I do that? Say it's a pretty simple process. I can just go to my app, show apps. I can click on the app section and i can click on new app sheet app it's that simple and now your app will be generated in just a few seconds and 
and here you can see the app has successfully been created and if we go here it's showing me an error for the since the tables for the since, since the category table has been added so I'll just go click on new table and I can add my data through the app sheet database I can click on this I can click on categories and I can add to the app it's exactly the same process that used to happen while we used to create Google Sheets by while we used to create apps using Google Sheets it's just a bit more simpler and easier to do now and it is the exact same thing and your app sheet app is ready using the Google app sheet integrated databases feature now if now if I have to make it more look more beautiful it's going to be the exact same thing at the end it's going to look something like this but the only difference between these two is that this data is in a Google Sheet and this data is inside a database. If I make any changes, it will automatically get incorporated here, stuff like that. Now, now that we have understood what the database is and how to create it, how to make changes and how to create the app, let's just explore some more features in the app sheet database. So first off, we're going to be looking at each of the buttons. You can see you can I can even share this email with I can share this specific database with people. So I'm just going to send it to my extra email and I'm going to just show it to you how it's going to be looking. This is the new app sheet database. I'm going to click on save and it will be sent to the email. So I'll just going to go ahead. I'm going to open it up and I'll show it to you how it looks. And here you can see when I open up my email, I can see Arun Rani has invited you to edit their expense app app sheet database. If I open up this database, this is what I can see. I can see Arun Rani is right now currently editing this part of the app and this is here I can view the database successfully. Let's go move on to the next feature. It's just uh, I, I have different styles of views that I can have. I can have a calendar layout. I can have a queue layout if I click on queue can see the specific things I can look at each of the expenses that are made with the details or I can look at the grid layout that is normal or I can for now you I can have the calendar view where I can see each of them it's similar to the app sheet thing and um, if I had a specific type of data I could have done the different layouts that are available I'll be covering them in the next set of videos and uh, I can even create different views for my data that is present in the sheet. Um, we'll just see how that works. So if I go here, I can I can see on the saved view right here. I can just go ahead and click this and click on save and I can create save views with different layouts. So I'm going to click on add new view and I'm going to say sort by category. We're going to be doing that. We're going to sort category. I'm going to click on save new view. And I'm going to switch to the second view. So inside this view, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sorting them by category. So for this, I'm going to be doing the sort button here. And I can uh, just, I'm just going to delete this one. Instead of sort by category, I'm going to be grouping the things by category. So I'm going to be clicking on by category. So you can see under the groceries, I have made these expenses. Under insurance, I made these expenses. And under travel, I've made these expenses. These are just the few set of features that the Google app sheet database provides. You have other things like config here where you can uh, do different, different grid layouts and stuff like that. And we'll be looking at that in the next couple of videos. You can even filter it. You can sort it. You can even make it more comfortable. You can change the views according to spacious and stuff like that. There's a lot to do and you have your version history, which is the most important feature of any database. So you can, I can even switch back to these versions that I had previously as I was making the changes through and I can even see deleted rows I can see deleted columns and these are just the few features that are available and you can even edit the columns from here you can even give there then you can insert new you can duplicate or even delete and you can add columns directly from here also so these are just the few features that I could cover in this video I think this video has become too long uh, I hope you like this video. I hope you have understood how to use the AppSheet database feature. I'll be leaving all the required and necessary resources in the description. You can check that out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.